Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are going to do something that uh, I've been wanting to do for a super long time and just have never gotten on around to doing it. Um, today we're going to rank the Soulsborn, we're just going to call them the Souls game because now we got Sekiro, Elden Ring, and uh, Bloodborne. And I've always wanted to kind of do my own ranking and I've just never done it. So today is the day. Now, um, before we get into like the ranking or whatever, um, this is just off this website. So they has already had a pre-made template and it looks like they put Demon Souls PS3 here and Dark Souls 2 and then the Dark Souls 2 Ultimate Edition or whatever where it's got the DLC. We're not going to rank those. We're just going to rank them as each um, one thing. So I probably won't do this Dark Souls 2 here. I'll just... Actually, we'll just leave those. And we'll just leave them here. We don't even need to mess with them. But before we get into it, I do want to kind of preface the order that I played these in because I feel like that the order does kind of matter because I did not play these in order at all. Um, and also, I'm going to be doing like a boss ranking eventually, uh, probably after this video. So that also is going to kind of play an effect of how I viewed certain bosses and whatnot just solely off of the order that I played it in. So technically, uh, I'll just let you guys know the order that I played them in. Uh, so technically, I played Dark Souls. We're just going to put them here. We'll clear this list in a minute. But I played a little bit of Dark Souls 3 first, but I only really played that tutorial where you fight Udix Gundir. Um, and I was at a friend's house. So it wasn't even my game. And I was like, yeah, this game's kind of cool. And I remember my friend uh, saying like, hey, you'd also like this other game called Bloodborne. And he started playing it. And I didn't play it yet. And I was like, dude, that game looks sick. And so, you know, some time goes by, whatever. And I see Bloodborne at the store. And I get it. And that's the first game that I would say that I played. I mean, technically Dark Souls 3, yes. But I, I don't, I would say Bloodborne is probably the true first game that I actually played and beaten because this one was literally I played a few times you know for a few minutes just at a buddy's house and then was was done now the second game is Dark Souls 3 after beating Bloodborne I did get Dark Souls 3 and I started playing it I was borrowing it from I believe a friend at the moment and then what happened was is that my wife bought me for my birthday the Dark Souls like trilogy it came with the dark souls 3 dark souls 1 and 2 and all the dlcs for all of them all included so really cool actually steel case and everything but i was already playing it so i just continued with dark souls 3 mainly because i didn't couldn't find dark souls 1 or dark any of the the previous ones right so after dark souls 3 i'm like you know what i need to play this in order and then i went with dark souls remastered was the first one um and after dark souls remastered I was trying to beat this one in time uh, before Sekiro came out, and so I actually didn't play Dark Souls 2, I played Sekiro next. And then after playing all through Sekiro, I was like, oh yeah, I still need to play Dark Souls 2, and at this point, um, I had kind of known that like Dark Souls 2, from what I've heard, was not as good. Um, more on that a little bit later, I still enjoy all of these games dark souls 2 included but i pushed it off because demon souls remake the ps5 was coming out and that was the next game that i played right after uh sekiro now after i beat demon souls there's some time uh elden ring hadn't officially been announced yet um there's some i mean i think no i don't think it was announced yet because i was like well elden ring is going to come out soon um, and then i did eventually play dark souls 2 and then, of course, after Dark Souls 3, most recently, I played Elden Ring. So, that was the order. Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Dark Souls, Sekiro, <laughs> Demon Souls, Dark Souls 2, and then Elden Ring. Not in any order whatsoever. I mean, at least for the main uh, Dark Souls games. Obviously, Bloodborne and Sekiro, Elden Ring are outside, so I didn't have to play those in that specific order. So, let's go ahead and clear this. Now, now for the... <clears throat> ranking so we I think I'm gonna put these all in S tier just because I believe all of these games oop, are fantastic um, all of them but I would have to say in last place we're, let's just do how many other we got one one two three four five six seven eight we have eight okay so we're gonna just put them all in S tier so 
first of all, I would have to say Dark Souls 2. Uh, it's not really in an A, B, C, or D. They're all S, so I'm just going to put Dark Souls 2 as my last one, right? So Dark Souls 2, I still really liked. The problem with Dark Souls 2 is that I played it pretty much at the end of all of them. So even going back was kind of hard. Even Dark Souls 1, because I played it so late that just like all the things that Dark Souls and From Software fixed in the next games like Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3 and even Elden Ring, they have fixed out and it's, they're more balanced and the graphics are better. So it was kind of hard going back to Dark Souls 2. But on top of that, like outside the Fume Night, I could barely re tell you any of the bosses just because I... there's One, there's so many of them. And two, at this point, I was pretty seasoned. I had played all the other ones. Um, and I actually have the Platinum Trophy for all of them, minus Elden Ring. Elden Ring is the only one that I'm still working towards getting that uh, last ending. But yeah, so Dark Souls 2, it's just I blew through the game, and other than Fume Knight was the only one that gave me any real difficulty. Now, after Dark Souls 2, ah, jeez, see, this is where it starts getting, getting uh, interesting. So first off, Bloodborne and Elden Ring are definitely in my tops. Can I put this in between them? Yeah, I can. Okay, so those ones are easily my favorite games. I kind of go back and forth between which one I think is better. I think Elden Ring is a better game overall, but I just love the everything about Bloodborne. I love the style. I love the combat. It's much faster paced. I love the love crafting in it. So it kind of flips back and forth, but I think as it stands now... Uh, these these two can flip. I'm I'm really into Elden Ring right now. I'm loving the crap out of the game, so I'm gonna put Elden Ring in first for now. Even though I do think ah uh, uh, no, you know what? I think I'm gonna go with Bloodborne. I think Bloodborne is still probably my favorite out of these ones. It's it's a toss up. Those are very close. Now here we'll put Dark Souls two for right here for right now. Um, now in second slash third place is also tough because basically it's like I know which one is my favorite game and I know which ones are my least favorite. And basically Dark Souls 2 is my least favorite. Um, I never played, we're going to put these in DTR, I never played the original PS3 version and I never played Dark Souls 2. Here, we'll put that one, we'll put this one here. Um, and then, oh, here's the original Dark Souls. We don't, we don't need to put those in there twice. I never played it on the PS3. Um, only played them on the PS4 slash PS5. Now, so next we got Bloodborne, Elden Ring, and after this one, dude, uh, it's really a toss-up. Uh, but you know what? I think... Dang, that's... Well, okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's either Sekiro or Dark Souls 3. Now, I do love Dark Souls 1, but I think Dark Souls, a lot of Dark Souls 3 is why it's so great is that it does build off of Dark Souls 1, but Dark Souls 1 just has a lot more jankiness into it just because it is an older title. Dark Souls 3 has a lot more epic boss fights and everything. Um, you know what? I This is a toss-up, you know? I like I really like Sekiro, but it's it's such a different game than literally everything else on this list. Like it's not an RPG or it's doesn't have the RPG elements where you can customize your own character. You're playing it's more of an action game where you just play as Wolf the entire time. So it's really hard even though it is definitely difficult like some of these other bosses or games. Just Sekiro is just such an outside of the box kind of thing for them that it's kind of hard to compare which one I like because it is such a different game. But I think I do actually like it. Mm. Dark Souls 3 was pretty great, though. See, that's the thing that's hard. I, 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 I'm going into this. This is the first time I've actually had to like think about the ranking. But you know what? I... I think I'm going to put Sekiro. I am pretty biased. I really love Sekiro. Dark Souls 3 is very close second. 
Now, what we got left here is we got Dark Souls and Demon Souls. Uh, the thing is, is that I like Dark Souls story better, especially like the DLC. But Demon Souls was just a, such a better looking game that it's kind of difficult. Like I wish all of the games, Elden Ring included, got like a Demon Souls type style to them because that game is the best looking even though it was made by uh, blue point games it's i mean it's still it's just a remake so it's still the original demon souls for sure but just vastly enhanced in literally every way but i do think that i would have to rank dark souls better and the reason because i do love the story and i do love the especially like the dlc the dlc for a lot of these games is some of their best work like bloodborne's has the best dlc hands down out of any of these games uh elden ring no dlcs yet sekiro no dlcs yet probably won't get any for sekiro actually it seems like they've kind of moved on to just elden ring uh dark souls 3 has the two uh dlcs and both of those are fantastic uh dark souls i believe just has the like the Artorias stuff, uh, which is one of my favorite boss fights. Um, so I will put them there. And then I'm going to put De Demon Souls here. I do think Demon Souls is better than Dark Souls 2. The problem with these two games is that they I played them so late. Like maybe if I played Demon Souls original first, I might have ranked it better. But I just kind of blew through the game. The only boss... Actually, I, I struggled with two bosses in Demon Souls. I struggled with the Flame Lurker. And what I mean by struggle is, like, I didn't beat it first try. It took me, like, maybe three or four tries to beat it instead of, you know, Dark Souls 2, I beat almost everything first try minus the Fume Knight. I think the Fume Knight took me, like, like four or five tries. Same with the Flame Lurker. They're about the same. Took me just as many tries. Um, and it's the most aggressive. Everything else, dude, I've... Actually, Demon Souls, I think I beat more bosses the first try than I did Dark Souls 2. I think maybe there's a few of them that I think I might have died and had to play, you know, fight them twice. But they kind of have the same thing going on where they're... I played them at the end and they were just so much easier than these other ones because I was already, you know, well-seasoned that they weren't really difficult. Uh, the other boss that I really struggled with in this one is the one that's right on the cover. The Dragon... I think it's Dragon God or Dragon Lord. And, and that's basically because I was impatient and I was kept running because it's like one of those gimmick bosses where you don't actually fight it. You have to shoot the contraptions to, you know, weaken it so it head falls down and then you do like a visceral attack on it. So I think as the standing goes right now, you know, this is where it's at. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to rank these ones here just because they're the older versions of the, the PS3 versions. But I think Bloodborne and Elden Ring, I do think Bloodborne is probably still my favorite, although I do see that Elden Ring is a much better game. Uh, Sekiro, I just love the the Japanese, the, the samurai, like I love all that stuff. Dark Souls 3 is fantastic. Like, I think I'm pretty comfortable with this order as it is. And I might ruffle some feathers because I know there's Dark Souls 2 has a huge... Uh, following and I'm not saying that's why I put them all in the S tiers because even though I think Dark Souls 2 is the weaker of the Souls franchise I don't think it's a bad game by any means I think all of these games are S tier games it's just within this S tier category I think I think this is a good fitting Demon Souls fantastic um, but yeah guys that's going to be it for my ranking this is my first time that I've ever done like a Souls ranking like I said we're just going to call them Souls because there's there's a lot more than just Souls born now. We got Elden Eld Ring, Sekiro, you know, it's just Souls games. Um, and that's going to be it, guys. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what you guys would rank these, um, if you guys have played them all. I'm definitely going to be doing a boss ranking of which ones I thought was difficult. Probably not of every single boss, but I'll probably pick the hardest bosses that I thought from each one. Or, you know, we'll do, some, we'll do some sort of boss ranking and we'll post it on the channel uh, sometime soon. So be subscribed for that. Uh, do me a favor, hit the like on this video, and yeah, we'll catch you guys on the next one.